Throughout the ART 2200 Advanced InDesign course, there are three ways that you will need to include artwork and or files in a discussion thread. You will need to embed a web image like a JPEG or a PNG. You will need to attach project files, which means you will need to create a .zip compressed file first and then link to your supplied files. Or you will need to embed a published online version of an InDesign project. In this video, I will demo the process to complete all three of these options. Please bookmark this video in case you have to reference it later in the semester. So the first option is that you need to embed artwork in a discussion. In Art 2200, you can save your work wherever you would like to save it and you can upload or link to your artwork from any website. I highly recommend Google Drive. So for this demo, I am going to use a Google account. If you choose to use Dropbox or Microsoft 365 or any other option, that is perfectly okay as long as you can meet the same outcomes as what this demo is going to demonstrate. The first thing we need to do is we need to post our artwork. And so I'm going to go to drive.google.com and I'm going to log in with my Google account. If you don't already have a Google account, you can create one and they're free. And I highly recommend them because you can store all of your work for all of your classes and then you don't have to worry if the college gets rid of their Google account or switches away from Microsoft. You won't have to lose your work because you will own this Google account. On your Google account, Create a folder just for our class. Privacy settings are a big issue in Google Drive. By default, the privacy will be set to private. So anything you upload, you have to change the privacy settings so that anyone with the link can be a viewer. This allows you to share links to your files and or embed your artwork in discussions and it allows the people that are receiving those links or receiving those images to actually be able to see your files. The easiest way to accomplish this is to create a folder and then immediately change the privacy settings for the folder. If you change the settings for the folder, everything you put inside the folder will automatically have the same settings. So to set the settings, you're going to select the file that you've uploaded or in our case, the file folder that we've created. You can right click on it or you can choose a little link in the top right hand corner and it's the get link button which will allow you to be able to copy the link to the folder. In our case we want to stop and pause before we do that because if we look closely at the settings they are restricted. Change the settings to anyone with the link can view your file. There are additional options but I don't recommend using anything other than anyone with the link can view your files and then hit done. The icon changed on the file folder to show a little icon of a person. This indicates that the share settings are something other than private. You can double check the settings by selecting your folder again and hitting the get link button once more. When you do this, you will see that now, instead of saying restricted, the setting that you have chosen, anyone with the link is the viewer, is now set. Double click to enter your file folder. Now you can put everything that you need for our class into this folder. You should create folders for projects or for modules or however you want to organize yourself. But ultimately, what you need is to be able to put all of your work for our class into this folder. Let's start by placing an image into this folder. I have an example InDesign project open. When you are creating artwork for our class, you'll be creating it in InDesign. When you're done, and you need to embed an image on the internet, you need to save your project as a web file format. So I'm going to create a PNG version of just the front cover of this project. This project has lots of pages, and for this example, I just need one file. To create a PNG or a JPEG, which is also a web file format, you can choose File and then Export. If the Export dialog box is small, as is illustrated on screen, Always expand the dialog so that you can see exactly where you're saving your file. I'm going to save mine on the desktop because I'm going to delete it when we're done this exercise. 
And then I'm going to change the name so that I know what it is. So I'm going to say this is my PNG example. I also want to change the format. The default setting is to make an Adobe PDF for print. I want to create a PNG. A JPEG would also be acceptable. And then hit save. Anytime you choose file export, you will always get an additional prompt that asks you to modify the settings of the document that you're creating. I want to change the range just to be page one. This document probably has 40 pages in it. I do not want 40 PNGs. You can choose whether you're going to export as pages or spreads. I recommend high quality and at least 96 on the resolution. Um, sometimes I'll bump it up to 150 if when I export and I embed the image, I see that the image is a little blurry. Increase the resolution and it will increase the image quality. For right now, you can use all of the default settings, but if you need to come back, you may need to have a transparent background or not have a transparent background. If your image has a lot of gradients or transitions of color, you might want to have or not have anti-aliasing. If you're using a document bleed, you can turn it on or off. And then as we learned in the Art 1200 class, um, if you are adjusting your artwork from a knockout to be an overprint, if you have overprinting in your project, you're going to want to simulate overprint. This project doesn't have any overprinting, so it really doesn't matter, but I'll leave it checked nonetheless. When you're done, you will have exported a PNG file. To get it onto your Google Drive, you can drag and drop it, or you can hit New and File Upload. Find wherever you save that on your desktop, so mine was PNG Example, and hit Open. When you upload a file, you can check the settings of that file or the privacy settings by selecting the image and right clicking on it or using the get link button. You will notice that by default, it now is anyone with the link is a viewer. That is because we changed the settings on the folder first. If you did not remember to change the settings on the folder, you would have to change this drop down to anyone with the link can be a viewer. Once your artwork is posted, you have two options to get it into a Canvas discussion. You can hit the Get Link button and hit Copy Link in the bottom. This will give you the URL to your image. So if we go to Canvas and I have an example discussion open, you can use the reply field below to start your post and type your message or whatever you're going to share. When you're ready to insert the image, you can paste the URL that's provided and then press the space bar and it will become blue and clickable. However, I would prefer that you embed images and not link to them. If you can't get them to embed, you can always link to them and that's okay, but I would prefer for you to do everything you can to embed your artwork in the discussion so that myself and your classmates don't have to leave Canvas to see what you've posted. If we go back to Google Drive, instead of getting the link or copying the link, you can get the embed code to embed the image in a discussion. By opening the image, you can double click on it. Sometimes you get a little preview error. If that happens, you can right click and choose preview. It will take you to the same place. And once you've previewed, you're gonna hit the three dots in the top right hand corner. There will be an option to open in a new window. It will open in a new tab. And then you're gonna do the exact same thing hit the three dots in the top right hand corner, but this time there's an option for the embed code. You can highlight the embed code and copy it. I'm doing command C on my keyboard. If you're on a PC, that would be control C. And then you can go back to Canvas and instead of pasting this, because if I paste it, it's HTML code. Instead of pasting it, you're going to put your text cursor blinking wherever you would like to insert the image and then choose insert embed. In this empty frame here, paste your embed code and hit submit. When you post reply, you can now see the difference between pasting the URL or embedding the image. If I paste the URL, I can click on it and I will be able to see the artwork. It's not the end of the world. But if I embed the artwork, it's easier for, for me as your instructor and all of your classmates to see whatever you posted. And sometimes it displays a little small and that's okay. If I have to pop it out, I'll hit the little option and I will bring it into a bigger window so I can zoom in on different areas and see certain parts of what you've posted. If you're submitting 
files. So if you have an InDesign project that has text and images and different things, you are going to pre-flight and package your project. So I'm going to save my file. I have pre-flighted it and now I'm going to choose file package. For time, I'm just going to hit package and agree to all of the instructions. And I'm going to call this package example and hit package. If I go to my desktop, I can find the folder that says package example folder. It's not possible to upload a file folder directly to Canvas. You can, if you want to, upload this entire folder directly to Google Drive. So when you're on Google Drive, let's go back to drive.google.com and you're inside your ART2200 folder. If you want to, you can drag and drop this package folder directly on to Google Drive. It will create a new folder, and when you expand it, you will see all of the things that were inside the package. Alternatively, before you move it to Google Drive, if you right-click on a file folder, you can choose to compress that folder, and it will make a .zip file. A .zip file can be attached to an email or uploaded directly to Canvas. You can also drag and drop or hit File, New, File, Upload, and you can upload the zip file directly to Canvas as well. I have no preference on whether or not you have a folder on your Google Drive and place all of the assets inside, or if you can press your file into a zip file. Before I forget, if you're on a PC, instead of right-clicking and choosing to compress, it will say something like, right click send to compressed file or compressed folder and that's what you're looking for and it should still make a .zip file. If you are going to upload a zip file or as a folder you can still share those files with me when needed however it's not embeddable so you need to use the first option to select the file and hit get link. When you do that, double check to make sure any moment the link is a viewer, and if that's the case, you can hit copy link. If we go back to that Canvas discussion, the only option for this would be, please, actually, my package folder is available here. You can paste the URL and it becomes clickable. And when you post your artwork, I will click on it and then I will download it. If it's a zip file, I will just download. And if it is a folder, in order to download it, I will have to right click and choose download. And then Google Drive will create the compressed.zip file. The last option for submitting coursework is to skip the process of creating a PNG or creating a JPEG and using InDesign itself to create an embed code that can be embedded in, on a website or in a Canvas discussion. In InDesign, when your project is finished, you can hit this option in the top right hand corner that says Share. There are a few options. Choose Publish Online. Publish Online will allow you to create a website version of your project. I am, in this case, going to publish a new document and give it a description. When you're done, you should double check all of the settings. So if I only wanted to embed page one, I could change the range to page one. But as an added benefit, Publish Online will allow me to publish all of the pages. So for now, I'll let it do that. I also want to allow people to download my PDF of my project as a PDF. If you don't want that, uncheck it. I also want anyone who wants to to be able to embed my project so I want them to be able to get the embed code. If you don't want that, turn that option off as well. The last thing I recommend is if you have photographs, make sure you go to uh, Advanced and change the resolution from the default, which is 72 or 96, change it to 144. Make sure your JPEG, JPEG image quality is high, and then hit Publish. 
My document is quite large, so it's probably going to take 30 to 45 seconds to publish it online. Wait until the processing is done and you will get an option to view your publish online. Once you can view it, you can copy either the URL that will take you to the publish online version of the project or you can copy the embed code. I'm going to choose view document so I can see what that looks like. This is the website that makes it so I can have my project on the web. You can copy the URL and paste it into InDesign or if you come over here to the bottom right hand corner and hit these little three dots, there is an option for embed. Click on it and you can copy the embed code. I did command C or you could do control C on your keyboard. Now, when I go back to InDesign, when I am making my discussion posts, just like I did with the embed code from Google Drive, I can place my text cursor and make it blink wherever I want the image to be embedded and choose Insert Embed. From here, paste the Publish Online version of your project embed code and hit Submit. From here, you will see it in your post, and when you hit Post Reply, you will see it embedded. And just like with Google Drive, you can click Read Now to expand the project into full screen mode.